Hello people, and welcome to today's video. Today we will be ranking all the game tunes among us logic characters. As you see, we have six categories, best, good, okay, bad, worst and idk. Best being, well, the best, and worst being the worst. The idk section is for characters that I don't know where to place them, for instance characters that have hardly gotten any screen time. Just to point out, this entire thing is partly biased, yeah. But without further ado, let's start. Firstly, there is Player, the star of the show, who has lost in almost every round of Among Us. Since he is the star of the show and has gotten the most screen time, I will put it in the S section. Next up, we have Captain. Captain is one of Player's best friends and is quite funny at times. He is going to be put in the A tier. Now we have Veteran. Veteran is another one of Player's friends, wearing a crown and has a gruff voice. Personally, I think that Veteran is a cool character and I'm putting him in the A tier like Captain. The Gentleman is up next. In my opinion, the Gentleman is my favorite. Even though he was quite mean to Mr. Cheese at the beginning, he has been getting along with him quite nicely. Also he wears two top hats which is questionable yet, he is still my favorite. He is going in S tier. Now is the classic character, who's on all the merch, has in own shop, and owns a dog, or two, we have the one and only Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese is goofy at times yet very good at being imposter. He gets on with the gentleman well. I'm placing him in the S tier. Next we have Mr. Egg. I like Mr. Egg as much as Mr. Cheese. Even though they are mortal enemies, they put up a great rap battle. Also the ending of Among Us Logic 5 with them was insane. I'm putting Mr. Egg in S tier 2. Following up from Mr. Egg, is Stoner. Stoner is the super duper cool and chill guy, who had an epic victory in Among Us Logic 1. I'm gonna put him in A tier. After Stoner, is Bro, Bro is quite toxic and think he's the best. And in my opinion, that won't be an A plus tier. I'm putting Bro in C tier. Now we have Ninja, the Among Us master. He's very deadly as imposter and has incredible skills. I'm placing Ninja in S tier. Next we have Rose and B Day, the couple of the crew. Overall they are pretty decent characters. I put them in B tier. Now we have Angel. Angel is a, somewhat good imposter, by violating the kill cooldown. She had a pretty good strategy in Among Us Logic 1, but Stoner kind of betrayed her. She did get the dub as a ghost. So yeah, she's a pretty decent character overall. I'm putting her in B tier. Now we have Poopafarts96. All I have to say for him is If only Captain was here to somewhat translate this. Anyway, I'm putting Poopafarts in B tier. Mother is next. Mother is, well a mother that takes care of two children, Timmy and Franklin. I don't know what else to add for her, but as well as a few others, she's a decent character. I'm putting her in B tier. Now we have Goober, Goober is a goofball and literally caused herself to be murdered in front of everyone by Mr. Cheese. I'm putting her in C tier. Now we have the second couple of the crew, Gnome and Engineer. Gnome is an okay imposter and engineer is a smart intellectual with gadgets and voting out and is smart with knowing who the imposter is. They both go in B tier. Furthermore, we have Dumb, player's sister. Again, another pretty decent character. She was quite a good imposter in Among Us Logic, Dragon Mod. Overall, it's a A tier for her. Now we have Rhea. Rhea didn't get much screen time, but she seemed like a nice character. I also have a theory of where the name Rhea came from in the description. So yeah overall, she's a good character. B tier. Now we have Ms. Pink. Straight S tie, I'm only joking. E tier, no questions taken. Now we have the Doctor. Doctor Doctor. Doctor Doctor is a discreet mysterious person, but in the last episode we find out about his tragic backstory about how Novisor became how he is and about his son. He seems like an interesting guy. I'm putting him in A tier. Now there's Sheriff, the loose cannonball. He was the first person to ever be voted out in AUL 1, and wasn't seen since. Until AUL 19. So yeah he hasn't gotten much screen time really. So I'm putting him in B tier. 
Next is Duncan, the guy on Drew, I mean, the guy who served no visor and gave his laptop on sale to Aiden. He seems, odd and yeah odd that's the only way to explain him. So he's going into C tier. Now we have the main person of the No Visor series, Aiden. Aiden is the person who got haunted by No Visor and his father, Dr. Doctor became part of the No Visors to save his son. He has an interesting backstory like his father. He's going into B tier. Now there's Baggy and Blondie, another couple of the series. Baggy and Blondie have different characteristics from each other. Baggy is scared of horror movies, yet Blondie admires them. I'm putting them both in B tier. Now we have the creeper pasta, No Visor. No Visor is a ghost that lurks around the skeld and such, taking innocent people and making them into a No Visor. There's an entire series about it too. I place No Visor into the A tier. Next is Not Orange. Not Orange in a smart person, he created a literal revive machine. But in the same episode, he bullied his own child. Also he quote unquote stole Mr. Cheese's color. I'm putting him in C tier. Now, we have Noob. Player's girlfriend, well, he ex-girlfriend after Among Us Logic 16. Her personality and skills are mid, like, nothing too good, nothing too bad. I'm putting her in B tier. Next up is Monster. You probably don't remember him, but he was seen in Among Us Logic, reviving the dead. He is not Orange's friend. He has the same personality as Not Orange, like being quite bossy over the others. I'm putting him in C tier with Not Orange. Following up from Monster, is Wizard. Wizard seems cool. Also he was instantly voted out in the first episode of his appearance for being new. And in Among Us Logic, the revenge of No Visor, he let player do the ritual to communicate to No Visor. In conclusion, I'm putting him in B tier. Moving on, we have Cub. Cub was only seen in one episode at the beginning, but died at the first meeting, as we never got to see their characteristics. So this is the first one that's going in the IDK tier. Next is Che Eyes. Straight S tier even though we only saw him for like only 0.5 seconds. Next is Mr. Mean. You can tell how his is just by his name. His Mean. He threatened Cheddar, Mr. Cheese's dog, to cut him up and serve him to the customers in a UL 17. This guy is going to be the second F tier. Now we have the doctor that helped Mr. Cheese recover from being kicked around. Also seen in AUL 17. He's quite clumsy and did kind of make fun of Cheddar. So overall, he's going into, into C tier, not because he's bad, just because I don't think it would suit him to be in B tier because he is only seen for around two minutes. Now it's Mr. Clogsworth. He's a decent player. No ups nor downs. A solid B tier from me. Now we have a bunch of characters that consists of, Hunter, Happy, Blue with the Viking Horns, Greaser, Hornsley, Captain, the Pirate One, and Arnold the Impostinator, the New England Patriots. And I don't know where to categorize then. So I'm going to make a new section called Uncategorized to put them in. Also I'm gonna make an option called Pets to put the pets in. So, yeah. That's all for today's video. Like and subscribe or else, now bye.